Massive motor vlogger. I'm going to uh, do a little surprise here for you guys. I haven't been out on the bike in a long time, but uh, today is the maiden voyage for our four-year-old. She's uh, she's getting ready to take a ride with me. You guys want to join along? All right, let's go. It is her first time out on the road. We're going to take some back roads and cruise around. Uh, you can see her back there. She's got her helmet on. Uh, feet are touching the pegs. And yeah, let's go. You ready? All right, guys, first time out on the bike. See how she responds and does to it. We're gonna take some of the back roads. So full disclaimer, she has been riding around in the backyard for a little bit, uh, just to get her acclimated to what it feels like. But today is her first time out on the road. So one of the things I wanna let you guys know is uh, my experience in riding bikes here is probably about 20 years now. Uh, I've rode a police motorcycle for uh, 10 of those years. And one of the things that uh, I, I wanna caution you about is when you're doing this is, many times it is not the motorcycle rider it is the other vehicle that causes the issues so when I get uh, when I'm saying that what I'm what I'm telling you to do is if you are thinking about taking your child on the bike use your head think about it think about it twice and then recommend uh, probably not doing it but since we live in a Clyde area where there's lots of uh, roadway where we can go in some back roads we should be good here so so Harper's on the back, she is four years old. She's touching the foot pegs and she's got herself uh, a helmet on, gloves on, log pants and everything else. She is about ready to go. So she's shown some interest in this about um, a year and a half ago when I was riding the bike and she says, Daddy, I wanna go on a ride. So I grabbed her, put her bicycle helmet on, stuck her on the back of the bike and uh, we cruised around the backyard for a little bit. But uh, for the uh, for the first time out, she's doing really well. I told her to keep hold of my arm, keep hold of me right here. And periodically she peeks around. You can probably see her, there she goes. She's peeking around, looking, watching where we're going and uh, really truly enjoying it. Hopefully she's giving me some good audio back there. I think she's, uh, I think I heard her squealing a little bit saying, woo. Again, using caution, you don't want to do this on main roads. It's a very bad idea. Three things that can go wrong is their balance, slipping off the foot pegs, and then you just uh, being overcautious, not paying attention in front of you, and you uh, have a crash like that. And they currently bought a harness from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description, but it's a, uh, it's a harness that goes around her shoulders like a backpack, and then it goes around uh, my waist here. What you might not realize when you are riding with a child is that uh, many of the times when you go and accelerate, they don't anticipate the acceleration like an adult would. So, so having their uh, having their helmet on them and then you accelerating, they got like they have uh, weaker neck muscles than we do. So you might get on the gas and fling their neck back. So that's what this harness is designed to do: is hold them up there a little bit better. So I just want to make sure that, uh, be aware of that too if you're riding with a child. It's just way too much uh, torque, if you will. Uh, when you stomp on the gas on these bikes, it'll fling their neck back and they can fall right back over. I think she's doing pretty good. She's peeking around me. Good. Give me the thumbs up. Keep those hands on me, girl told her to do that all the time. Keep those hands on me. Do not let go. Let's see if we can go take this little back road over here. Let's see how she responds to some turns. She feels pretty good keeping her head upright. I told her about that. Keeping her head nice and upright. That's one thing that I noticed with them is the kids, they'll lean out really far. So they're going to be moving around in the back trying to see. Otherwise, they're going to have their, their head right in the back of your uh, head right there. So anticipate that. A lot of movement, a lot of twisting. But just reinforce them that they have to hold on and they have to hold on to you. 
that that harness is not designed to keep them on. It's just to give a little bit added protection if uh, if you do need to grab a hold of them real quick. It just delays that fall. So as I was saying, we're taking some rides around in the back areas here to see how she's doing. She's doing pretty good. I like it. Do you want to do some circles? You want to do some circles? Huh? Do you want to do some circles? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. And you probably see that there when I get that gas just a little bit. Uh, her head goes back. So we're going to go around here and just do a couple of these uh, little bits of uh, turns and stuff just to acclimate her to, to movement. So you can see. There we go. She's not grabbing a hold of me too tight, which is uh, impressive for her. I was thinking that she's going to be scared and, and doing this. But I guess going over the motorcycle in the backyard uh, for that period of time is good. She's been enjoying it. kind of neighborhood I picked up but people arguing on the porches so we're going through here she's noticing that's the water park yeah we're just gonna check it out real quick <clears throat> do a little loop in here and and come on out so as I was saying just something to get her acclimated get her used to riding and I hope I can make this like a kind of full-time thing a little daughter bonding experience So pretty. Harper, do you want to go ride over to the beach real quick? No. You all done? You want to go home? Yeah. Okay, you tired? Yeah, my arms hurt. Your arms hurt? My wrists hurt. Okay. We'll get you back home. We're going to do that there, so let's go ahead and do it. Rest on the couch. What's that? You want to rest on the couch? Okay. All right, guys, we're going to call the ride here. This is it. Um, that's another good thing to do is check on your babies if they're riding with you because fatigue is, you don't want them to get fatigued and have um, an issue on the back where they're falling asleep. That's the worst. The strap that I have, the harness that I have, will not hold them on if they, if they slump over. So that's, uh, uh, again, recommended that you continuously check with them to make sure that they're doing good. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. We went about three or four miles here, uh, maybe a little bit less, and uh, are going to uh, take the river back down. Get some scenic views and then uh, drop the baby off at the house. So I hope you guys appreciate the video here. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for liking and subscribing to the channel here. And smash that button to get notifications when I go live. I'll try to keep uh, some videos up again and uh, let you know what's going on. I have uh, my new gloves here, which is the, the Alpine Dars SMX1s. Uh, my other ones were all tore up, so basically I, uh, I had to get me a new set. And what else do we have? Uh, helmet. She's got her a couple helmets on. I'll put the link in the description. Gloves and all that. So you can see what we're using uh, while she's riding. Just to have uh, have those in your arsenal there. If you are going to grab these for your child. I want to say thanks to Cycle Gear. Hooking us up with the gloves and the uh, helmet there. They're excited about seeing the little baby on the bike. So we are going to uh, throw a little shout out to them. Cannot wait to do this. Oh, look at all this dirt. That's so bad. Get the clean up. And that Yosha exhaust, I just kind of got all the way on it to the rev limiter there, and you can hear what that sounds like. Man, I miss riding. It's been fun. Well, guys, I am going to call it here. I will see you guys again soon. Once again, thanks for liking, subscribing, and commenting on this video. If you have your child out 
on the bike and you want to link your video in there, throw it down in the description. I'd love to take a look at it or DM it to me if you have the ability to do that. You can always check out the website at uh, mdpair.com. That's my drone website. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys later. Peace.